How's it going, guys? Welcome to the blue shifting, and welcome to the end. I mean, where could it go from here? We're outnumbered a, like a million to one. Well, not literally, more like a thousand to three thousand to one. Yeah, three thousand to one. We have to stop at all costs a bomb that will destroy not only our home planet, but every ship in orbit. There's no chance for any of our people if this thing goes off. We have to stop it. And uh, unless we pull a miracle out of our butts, this is the end. It's a one-way trip. In fact, I only have to make it to this far side of the map uh, with the Sun Rider. And I guarantee you, as, as, as limited as this force seems, every turn we're going to be getting more and more and more Alliance Impact that are both threatening to kill us. I have a feeling... This is going to take a couple tries, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to pretty much book it. Because I can't use the warp, obviously. They've disabled that, pretty much. Um, so, it's pretty much going to be a sprint. Eliminating people who I have to, but mostly just just go. And I'm scared. I'm, I'm sad. It's all so horrible. But the time has come. It's time for us to do what needs to be done. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and in the immortal words of Worf of Star Trek, <laughs> Jeez. Today is a good day to die. The Klingon Death Code, or Battle Chant, whatever you want to call it. I'm such a nerd. I don't care, though. That's pretty much what this is. All for one, one for all. We're going to save our home planet. We're going to do it. I honestly wish I had war paint. I almost grabbed some paint, but it's like heavy duty paint for cleaning, for like clothing and stuff and highly permanent and I figured maybe not on my skin. I, 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 kinda, I know I'm, I'm wussing out, but I just had this gut feeling it's a bad idea to use industrial strength paint on my face. So y'all have to do with the, 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 with this, this, the, we can do it. We have to do it. Let's see how, how far we can go. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do an all guard that'll just make it so that we're harder to kill. Cause I think that's really what we need. We have some repair drones too. I'm probably gonna need them. Uh, fetch man. All right, let's do this. Here come reinforcements. I'm sure we have. Oh my gosh. Well, that puts us in a bit of a pickle. Do the vanguard. Take them all out. Shoot. Let's try it. Let's see. I need to clear the path. And then hopefully I'll have turns to like regenerate that a little bit. Fire, clear the path. Man, I love the Vanguard Cannon. <laughs> Formerly I'll be using the whole thing, but it's awesome. But that carrier is gonna be an issue. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Sprint. Sprint. We only need one more turn, dang it. Hold them off. Hold them off. Yeah, we're good. You know, they pop it right in front of me. I'm good. Okay, that seems a little too easy. There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. It really wasn't much resistance. I, it was almost too easy. I'm a little worried that it's not quite the end, but we'll find out. That doesn't seem like it's close enough. All ahead full. Prepare to fire the Vanguard at point blank range. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, fetch. Here we go. Sunrider took a direct hit. Consoles blew, flinging crewmen across the bridge. Ava crashed into shields. 20% 20, 20 with one shot must have been one of their big guns. Just a bit more. Hold it together, girl. One last trip. Of course there's too many of them. 
No, no. Hikari no do. Tate no shita ni kakureru no de arimasu. You two run. Can you can they run? Just run for it. Alright, let me make sure I have this close by just in case. Yeah. Sorry about that, I had to check something. <sighs> Come on, just escape. Protect, get out of there, come on, you don't have to fall with the rest of us. Oh no. Oh no. Kriska, don't, you're gonna make me... Oh, don't do this to me. Oh my gosh. Because I hear the thrusters on the Havoc. She, she's leaving, isn't she? Thought so. <sighs> At this point, it's hard to care, honestly. Come on. Oh no! Suddenly everyone was in midair as the whole around the bridge bent. Steam builds rained down, skewering the bridge crew. The Sunrider howled as a chunk of its mouth tore off and sliced through the observation tower. This is it, isn't it? This is... This is it. This is how 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 can we fire a cannon? How can we do anything at this point? Shield wiped his blood from his face and picked himself up. Damage report. Dang it. That's all we have? <sighs> Sunriders lost, Commander. All hands abandon ship. <laughs> I'm putting you in charge of the evacuation, Commander. Get everyone out of here, keep them safe. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no, my place is on the bridge. That wasn't a request. I'm an ordering you to abandon ship. <laughs> Everyone, you are all relieved of your duties. Get out of here. The surviving crew saluted. Ava <laughs> gritted her teeth and led the crew out of the bridge. It's the best business. <laughs> It was an honor, Commander. The Commander ran to the brig to check if any of the crew remained inside. All the cells were powered down. No time to worry about that. I need to get everyone out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful. Ava pushed the last of the crew inside the escape pod. She checked out the last of the names of her crew off the list and leaped into an escape pod just moments before the hallway collapsed. The pod jettisoned from the Sunrider. I at least wanted to finally say. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, you a holes! No, don't you do it! All hands, this is Captain Kato Shields, the assault carrier Sunrider. Last surviving vessel of the Sarah Space Force. We travel the stars, fighting allies across the galaxy with the hope of liberating our home world. 
It was a long journey filled with adventure. At times we felt sorrow, at times we celebrated our triumphs. Throughout we were hopelessly outnumbered. Our mission was nothing but a long shot gamble against impossible odds. Finally, we are here at our home's doorstep. Let it be remembered. On this day, we did not abandon Sarah to fend for herself. Today, the Sunrider stood her ground. We did not run, but protected all those we hold dear till the end of the blackness night. We did not falter in our defense of our families. Today, we perished to save our home. Yes. This time, I won't let her down. Oh, fetch, man. Oh, fetch. Oh, you can't do that to me. Oh. The Sunrider, as her final act, will save everyone! Murray, I'm coming home. Sir, new contacts coming in hot! What? It's... Oh my gosh, you guys came! Multiple enemies detected, providing assistance. Blackjack coming in! It's the Seraphim, and the Blackjack! We heard what happened on the Hollow and came back as soon as we could. We led the Alliance boogies away, protect the lifeboats. Paladin, reload your munitions and spare, and spare rifle, we've got some, some butt kicking to do. Griska, and we're restored! Yeah! Oh. oh. Please, please, make sure you guys make it. Yeah. Seriously? I knew all along you guys would come back to save us. I don't know why the voice has stopped, but come on. <laughs> I definitely wasn't worried at all. Besides, it would have sucked if everything just ended like that. Huh. Like that whatever would happen to us. Now let's get some payback. The Pax fleet's starting to organize a counteroffensive against the Alliance, and it looks like we're right in the middle of the crossfire. Even with two more riders, we can't take everyone on ourselves. Oh, for crying out. I'm sure the captain's figured something out. We just gotta hold out a bit longer. If it's him, you definitely can. Now come on, Captain, do something! As if on cue, Akari's calm click to life. This... Her final act. Save everyone! Static. It's the Sunrider! C captain oh, He's gonna... Oh! Captain! That's what you do, man. Alpha sat on, the, on an elegantly curved wooden chalice. Before her was a round table with an enormous assortment of tea sets. Everything floated in white space, neither upright, sideways, nor downward. This was the dimensional space between space, where time flowed infinitely forward and backward, and all was simultaneously everywhere and nowhere. News of the Liberation Day Massacre had reached her. My sister has failed. Instead of unifying humanity, her actions instead sparked a war which will threaten the very existence of the human race. I have been betrayed by my own sister. Alpha's long-awaited guest arrived. Oh, uh, I don't feel bad. I'd hardly say you were the only one who got betrayed. Wanderer, who's that? Uh. Alpha's thoughts broke as she returned to real space. Wanderer. Sounds like Hoyd. <laughs> the air distorted as space-time continuum and parted from, from in front of Alpha. Sparks flew and the wind ruffled Alpha's hair as a figure emerged from the micro wormhole. What? 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 Wait. What? No, I'm not. So and at least you didn't have to vaporize like poor Claude. Huh? You know what explodes or decompression does to my skin? To think this woman possesses so much power. What the fetch is happening? No, she has long ceased to be human. 
and has become a different entity altogether. She could recreate the entire universe right now before me, and yet she chooses to gallivant across the galaxy, pursuing nothing but frivolities. Hey, I did what you wanted. First I led the Sunrider to the Sleeper in the Abyss. It was a piece of cake. All I had to do was just play the damsel in distress role, and he was all over me in a flash. Yeah, you should have seen what the brute did to me in sickbay afterwards. Absolutely nothing. You have to compensate me now that I've rescued you, he spoke in a firm voice. Yeah, anything but Claude's chastity, the poor maiden squealed as the captain tore her clothes off and ravaged her. I promise it didn't happen. Her pleas were futile, futile as the captain thrust his will right into the girl's untouched glory hole. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. Ugh. Claude's worldly views changed a little after that day. No. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I led them into the abyss. I took care to make sure your little dog could get on with getting on with our captain. It was a real challenge, you know. Claude had to work hard. Claude had to work weekends. And despite the captain's obvious infatuation with me, he was hitched up with Chigara in no time. After some fake medical reports and assorted other arrangements. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Ah, but there was another wrinkle in that plan. Somehow, the Queen of Ryuvia could sense Jagara's hyper brainwaves. Oh! Oh! Oh, this physically hurts! This physically hurts! I must have been maddening for the girl, being the only one to know the entire time that Jagara was a prototype, trying to desperately tell everyone what was happening, only to be ignored and dismissed at every turn. Claude's heart truly ached at the sight. <laughs> but life's not fair. You have performed your mission admirably. Oh, um, but Claude's pretty lost here. So you sent Shigara to learn about humanity, then one day control them in the fight against the Ebon fleet. Then why the flipping space whale did Shigara shoot everyone dead at the peace ceremony? We in initially set C8 to keep watch on the on the then Ryuvian princess. It was your words which foretold the girl's eventual final awakening. And awakening so powerful it will shake the galaxy and bring forth the return of the Holy Empire. It was mere happenstance that her path crossed with shields. From there we sought to understand him so that we could eventually control him. But my sister hid her true intention from me. While I mustered the prototypes, she mustered Pact. She was secretly sabotaging my efforts. She hid the true extent of her hatred for humanity from me, and instead attempted to bring about a complete destruction of the human race. At that pivotal moment, she assumed control of Seagate through the mind stream and broke my plan to ruin. Ah, so you just wanted to enslave humanity while your sister wanted to destroy it. Now, my sister and C8 battle inside the mind streams for control of the other prototypes. But what will emerge from that battle will not be either of them. A new shadow falls upon us. The mind stream is becoming corrupted. C8 shall return, but not as before. Oh gosh, what the heck? <laughs> Quite a shocking development. But more. Next time, please be more gentle with your extractions. A frail girl like Claude can't just be stand being blown up so many times. Looky here. Claude's just here to clean up after the temporal disaster. An entire fleet blown from its timeline and just dropped into this one. When people and things start moving through time willy-nilly, the events get moved around all out of order. It's only a matter of <clears throat> time until something really bad happens to the entire universe. Am I in a freaking Doctor Who episode? I thought your prototypes could take care of it, but I guess this is the end of line now. Honestly, I don't care one way or another about bringing things like your prototypes. I think I'd rather take my chances with the other team now. Oh, that's not good. And this time, Claude will definitely win his heart. There won't be a little no C8 unit to interfere anymore. 
Shield is dead. <laughs> that man wouldn't die so easily. You will use your powers to change the timeline? No. Ah, you were lis were you listening? I told you, moving events out of order can cause huge headaches. She's like a Q. Things stop making sense. A huge gaping plot hole gets holes get opened. Yeah. And you know, when a plot hole opens in the space-time continuum, the entire universe just kind of goes poof. That's exactly the kind of scenario I'm trying to prevent here. Wow, that was a weird squeak. No, Shields lives without my intervention. How is that possible? The mind stream. She has already begun to. Hehehe. <laughs> mm, on that note, why don't you just join up with us too? There's always room on the team for a gothic Lalita. I decline. Ah oh, well, less competition for me. You're welcome to stay here and do prototype things. My goals will not change. I will control humanity, regardless of my sister's machinations. We'll see about that, hmm? Not if he has anything to say about it. Well then, see ya! What the fetch is going on? A pop and a flash momentarily dazzled, dazzled Alpha as Claude vanished into subspace. Finally, dead silence returned to the grand cloning chamber. Alpha stood alone. My sister, what have you done? Oh my gosh. Ah! I know we're getting late, but we're gonna, we have to see at least what's happening. Captain, are you all right? It's me, Chikara. Shield groggily opened his eyes. Was he dead? Kato. Yes, he really had to be dead. After all, there was no way she would be. Ugh. Oi. Oh no. What are you doing? She else came to. He felt like the world had collapsed on top of his head. Where was he? The deck the deck one reserved life pod. So he survived after all. Shields pulled himself up against the seat. Ah, you. Why did you save me? I was as good as dead on the floor of the bridge. You could have just used a life pod to escape yourself. Ugh. Why indeed. You guys have been trying to kill me for the better part of the war. And now you threw away your big chance to get what you want. Something. Something must have happened. The old voice fades away, replaced by a new voice. So what's she talking about the prototype's hive mind? Could the death of the prototype leader somehow have changed their psyche? Or could it be... Don't misunderstand. It's not like that pretty little C8 model which we sent a worm into your heart. I didn't save you because of any desire on my part. You, us L7s were made to carry out the will of our leader in combat. Our bodies are identical to the first prototype, the one the humans came to call Vizicar Arcadius. But even she was about a, about a stepping stone to Alpha, the crowning achievement of the of Diode. And in the end, we are called prototypes because we are earlier failed incarnations of Alpha. We constantly hear their voices. They whisper to us, send us instructions, even when we sleep. That must mean the lesser clones are essentially slaves. Of course, I saw that firsthand when the mind controlled Chigara. And some, could something have happened to Free Lin? <sighs> well, we now know that Jagara was. She was a good person, but she was overwritten because she technically was a prototype. But I think what we're seeing here is a collapse of the structure. You're not getting instructions, are you? Idiot. The voices will never stop. But there's now a new voice. We are evolving at a pace a million times faster than you humans. But as we as to where we are heading, I feel a premonition 
a sudden inexplicable urge to go down to the bridge and rescue you. For a short moment, I lost control of my body and had to assume another had another assume control. I found you floating unconscious in the bridge, all life support systems on board the Sunrider quickly failing. I had but seconds to carry you to the life pod and escape, but fortune was on your side, as a single life pod remained unused on deck one, and I was able to carry you to it in time. Such episodes where we lost control of our bodies are not uncommon for us prototypes, but this time... Ugh, to think that we'd be hijacked by a rogue. I can only mean she's still. It doesn't make any sense. The C8 unit was under our control, set by us to control you. Then Chigara still lives. Chigara. We sought to understand you, to learn what motivated you, so that we could use that knowledge to control you. But for her to break free of our leader's will, she has become an aberration. The last second thing we did, we set her free! And just like the, uh, the, 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 the leader that we killed, she's still alive in the mind stream. Oh, I didn't, I, how did I think of that? Oh, that's brilliant. She must be telling the truth now. But that means Jagar really was the entire time. The beeping of the pod's console interrupts Shield's thoughts. He senses, snaps his snap back to him. What happened on the battle? And his crew? He painfully picked himself up and limped into the pod's console. The Alliance forces are falling back. My gambit worked, ramming the sun right into the Machiavelli actu uh, Actual and destroying the Tactical Paradox Core took away the Alliance's trump card. With Grey and their entire chain of command massacred at the ceremony, their flagship destroyed, and their secret weapon lost, they have no choice but to retreat. But all that seems moot since I'm about to get captured by the packed fleet! And with Fontana pissed off, you can bet he'll just stand me in front of the first wall he can find and shoot me. Out of the frying pan, into the fire, huh? But that's not even the worst of my problems. What happened to Akari and Kriska and the crew? Ugh. Shields gripped the console scan for friendly signals. Crap. Akari. Kriska. Eva. Anyone. A saga! Hey, I'm gonna break off and go to sector 947131. What? But we just finished tying up all the light fods. Pack's gonna be on top of us in seconds. We gotta. It's important! Oi, what are you? Akari's jaw dropped as the blackjack jetted away. Oh, for soldier boy, take the blackjack sharp share of pods. We gotta get out of here. Understood. Shields wiped the sweat from his brow as a sea of red dots filled the pods scanning readout. A massive wave of packed ships was heading his way. He desperately put scanning frequency after scanning frequency, his fingers trembling. No response on any frequency. Could this mean that everyone was already captured? Or worse, wiped out? No! I have to keep those thoughts out of my head. I'm still... I said I was going to save everyone. They can't all be... The calm crackled to life. This is the black... This is the... This channel? Shields pounded the transmission button. This is Captain Cato Shields, is that you, Asaga? Captain! I knew it! I knew you were still alive! I'm about to receive a real red welcome party here. Can you get me out of here? Oh yeah, Captain. Just, uh, hang on to something tight. What? Uh. The cabin thunked as the blackjack shot a magnetic tow cable at the pod while performing a close flyby. Ooh, that's gonna be a painful yank. Shields all of a sudden realized what Osaka meant and strapped himself into his seat. Lynn was less fortunate. It was tossed to the rear of the pod as it suddenly lurched forward along with the blackjack. Ugh! Fool! Hitting afterburners! Let's get the let's outrun these guys before they can get a shot off at us. Oh my gosh. We lived! We flippin' lived! Yes! <laughs> we lost our ship though! I that that's really sad. But I'm my mind is exploding right now. What the fetch just happened? I, li I thought this was going to be our last episode. I genuinely thought this was going to be the last one. Well, we'll have to see what happens next. <laughs> Jeez. Without Sunrider support, though, it's going to be a rough road ahead. But I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited to see where this is going to go. <laughs> Fetch. Oh, my gosh. I'm all smiles because we didn't die. 
And we kind of have an idea of what's happening now. Uh, but we also have no clue what's happening. And what the fetch was with Claude? She's like a freaking... Like I said, she's a Q. She's a Q. That's the best word for it. Or Discord or, or whatever you want to call it. Like, she's a freaking force of time, space, and omnipotence, effectively. And, oh, ugh, oh, what is going on? I can't wait till next week. <laughs> I hope you're here next week, too. we got to finish this, figure out what's going on. Thank you so much for being a part of this episode. Thank you so much for being a part of this series. Thank you so much for just being here. I want to know, did you see any of that coming? <laughs> I guess if you've played it before, obviously. Shush, shush, shush. Uh, but holy crap. I had no idea. That was awesome. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited for this. It's like It's weird. Like I should be a lot sadder that we lost the Sunrider, but honestly... What a way to go. We saved the planet. That's really all that matters. So, until the next video you watch with me, or whatever you see me in next, I'll see you there. Yes! Oh, that felt good. <laughs>